Hey, it's a time for another Wine Moron video, and I wanted to test this time to see how much of a moron I really am. Now, the reason I picked Moron is actually because of American history. Uh, back in the early 20th century, when immigrants were coming in through Ellis Island, um, they needed some kind of measure to make sure that um, immigrants were, in a way, in a sense, mentally fit to be coming into the country. And so um, a guy named uh, Goddard uh, from Vineland, New Jersey, uh, developed a test uh for exactly that reason, to kind of screen uh, immigrants coming in. Um, and he had, didn't have a word for someone who had a, a I guess you could say, a, an age level, uh, intelligence level and an age between um, 8 and 12 years old. And so he coined the term moron for that age level, not um, – what, so they, not completely an idiot, which was a term also that he was using, um, not an imbecile, also a term that he was using, but uh, above that, uh, but, you know, showing some, some signs that, you know, mental infirmity, I guess, would be what he would have called it. Um, and uh, I, I found that out from a book called uh, um, American Passage by uh, Vincent Canado. And a really good book, and it, it gives a history of Ellis Island. So anyway, I wanted to see how much of a moron I really was. I, I, I wanted to see if I actually knew something or didn't. And so with the help of my wife, I have um, two different Chardonnays. Uh, both are from Hawkhaven Vineyards in uh, South Jersey, um, and they're both Chardonnays. One has been um, aged in oak, and the other has been aged in uh, stainless steel. And so <clears throat> I wanted to see if I could be able to tell the difference uh, between these two Chardonnays. Everything about them is pretty much the same. They come from the same vineyard. They come from the same, um, they come from the same uh, grape. Uh, but I, the aging process, how they're aged is different. So uh, I have two glasses, one with one, one with the other. Uh, one is labeled with a one. The other is labeled with a two or 11. I, I went with the Roman numeral two. Uh, I'm not calling it 11. And uh, the first thing I noticed just holding these up, there is a definite color difference between the two. Uh, number one, it has a more, uh, I guess, a, a darker yellow color than the uh, than number two. And since number one is number one, I'm going to start with number one. And uh, kind of a Hit you right in the face kind of smell there. You can kind of feel it almost under the, coming up of the nose and under the eyes. Uh, rich sort of smell. But let's see what happens with this. Very full sort of flavor there in the mouth. And um, and now that I'm, I'm it's lingering there, it, it does have a... Um, very full body, full mouth feel sort of taste to it. Um, rich, uh, almost a little buttery there. It's like it's kind of smooth. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, I'm not sure yet. I, I do want to make the comparison between the two before I, I give my final guess. But um, just from the color and the initial flavor alone, I'm thinking that this is the, the Chardonnay that has been aged in oak um oh and by the way my wife did write this down for me on a piece of paper and it, it will be revealed whether i'm right or not I'm, wouldn't that be funny just kind of end the video and be like hmm, i wonder if i'm right or not very similar smell um not quite as hit you in the face but i mean you would expect from the same grape to have the same smell Yeah, this this almost has more of a tart sort of finish. Um, I, I don't know if it's the acidity or something just seems to like you know suck the moisture out of my mouth with it. And I'm wondering if if it's because of having the two right at one way after another, but there there is a distinct difference in the taste here.
Yeah. I'm thinking that that number two is the steel and that number one is the oak. But I'll give one more shot on the number one. I probably should have had a bottle of water here to cleanse my palate in between or maybe some crackers or some kind of food. But oh, well, I mean, at the end of this video, I'm, I'm going to be two fisting these Chardonnays anyway. So I'm not really going to worry about cleansing the palate in between. But for, I mean, for the purposes of whether or not I'm right, we'll see. Yeah, I'm thinking that since number one has a much more smooth sort of finish, I, I think it's been softened. I think it's been work. The, the oak has done its thing. So I guess it's moment of truth. Let's see if I really uh, know anything about what I'm talking about or not. So here's the, the paper. And the results are in. Number one was the Chardonnay. Number two was the Naked Chardonnay. Now, the Naked Chardonnay, that's the one that has been aged in steel rather than in oak. So, <laughs> uh, I'm a moron, but uh, not a complete idiot. That is fantastic. I will reward myself for my correctness by not sharing either one of these glasses with my wife who helped me out. I'll drink them both and she can have her own glass. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you thought this was a fun kind of different thing, so I did. I, I'm going to have to do something like this again. Uh, so uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe. If you hit the little bell thing, uh, apparently you get notifications when there's a new video like this one. And um, yeah, I'm going to keep on go with the steel this time. Yummy. Have fun.